Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Um, hi, I'm Trevor, and or welcome back. I know I I um, have a couple people that watch sometimes, so welcome back. Hi. Um, so like and subscribe if you want more videos of uh, INFJ struggles because this is a nice one. It's a fun one. Um, so this one involves inferior SE, like you probably can tell in the title of the video below, but this also involves a college textbook. In particular, a college physics textbook. And, you know, it involves my brain as an INFJ, obviously, right? Okay, cool. Great. But now that we have the, ba the basics of the story put down, let's get into it, right? So, I'm a college student, and I have been for uh, about four years. Yeah, something like that. Um, ish? Yeah, about that. So, I've taken a lot of science classes. I'm a, I've been a science major pretty much my entire degree process um so i you know i know what science what science classes are like with labs and i know what like engineering classes are like and i know what um what math classes are like and you know i know what english and psychology and you know, all these different classes they take for various majors i know what they're like and i've met people in different majors from music to engineering so i know that and i and with my experience being in science i kind of thought, okay, well, I, I know what to expect, like, I, I need a one book, I need a, a book for two semesters, because obviously, if Chem 1 and Chem 2 use the same book, that would have, like, 800 pages, or 900 pages, but it use the same book for both semesters, the same with Bio 1 and Bio 2, I figured, okay, well, physics must have, right, you know, physics has to contain the same amount of chapters, right, or the same amount of chapters, it must, you know, the, the book itself must have two semesters worth of material in it, because in past experiences, I've had to buy books that covered two semesters worth. Meanwhile, my dumb ass in the bookstore, I wasn't even thinking about, about oh, well, why is there a volume one, or oh, this is a different author than previous people, so, you know, maybe you should check to make sure that it's gonna be used for both semesters. No, my dumbass didn't check that at all. It was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to use it for both semesters, right? So why not, you know, ignoring the volume one in the front of the book and ignoring, like, you know, granted, my intuition was telling me, like, go, you know, go after this. Like, you know, just buy it so that way you don't have to, you know, that way you don't have to get a new one next semester and you can, you know, run thing you don't have to worry about a date, like, to, to return it by or this and that, and like, you know, all these different things that are factors that can, that go into the chaos, um, that we try and avoid as the INFJ, um, or as NI DOMS, we try and avoid these things that might go wrong, and we try and control the sensory environment by, um, around us, because we don't want that to go iffy and haywire and, and zap us, or hit us in the face with a tree branch, without us knowing where we're walking, uh, and we think we're doing everything right, you know, we think we're we think that we're buying the right book. We think that we're that that you know we, we buy the right book for the class, and we we get it before classes even start the day on the day of class, and then like you know you get like the the right volume for the class, but you buy it and you think that's gonna be for two classes, and then you find out that oh a week and a half later like oh I should just rent it because I'm gonna have to buy a second book or rent a second book next semester when I take for this two in the fall because. This only has one semester worth, unlike every other science class I've had so far, like chemistry and biology and even anatomy, which had two semesters worth of, cl of, um, of classes in one big book that we just buy. And it was a time saver, it was a money, it wasn't a money, money saver over time because, you know, if you went to the books, it would be easier than buy the books, but in my, in my mind, it was easier to just buy the book and have it for two semesters, that way, if I needed to take a little bit longer for the, if I, if I ended up like, you know, not passing the class as well as I wanted to or whatever, if I wanted to review it later on, I could review it without, without having to return it to the bookstore or to anyone else. So to me, it was like, you know, it was more so like a time table, like, oh, well, I'm just gonna, yeah, I might as well just keep it anyways. I might as well just, you know, sell it later on if, if I have to, right? But, you know, why don't need it? But no, not. No, only me, only me would realize a week and a half later that, oh, this class is the only class where the author has the book split into two different books, really, you know, two different volumes, and it's so frustrating because, you know, 
maybe it's because it's just a different author, author but it's just, it's like, you're walking down a path, you're walking down a path, and I don't know where a mudslide happens, and you're just kind of like, flying face first into a tree, into a tree, and then you're like, you know, you get the wind knocked out of you, you're like, what just happened, like, how did that happen, like, why did that happen, like, I thought I was doing everything correctly, and then, bam, no, it, it's crazy, right, and, it, and, like, how, how are we supposed to realize when this happens, like, how are we supposed to realize, like, oh, like, should I question this thing, should I question this thing, because in reality, why should I even think that the author of the book is different, so that means that the, that the textbook must be in two, in two volumes, you know, it just, if, I feel like if I had higher up SE, I would maybe see the volume one and be like, oh, maybe there is a volume two, maybe, and I would, like, and I would, I would kind of go through it and be like, oh, wait, maybe this isn't, um, this isn't going to cover two semesters worth, and, you know, but no, you know, bright old me thought that, oh, you know, I, you know, it's, it will probably happen in the future this way, and I think it will happen because it happened in the past, and, and, you know, and I've seen it happen by multiple people, and this is just the area kind of it's in, so my luck think that if you're going to do that, and, you know, completely ignoring the author is just different, and completely ignoring the volume one edition, and, you know, it's, you know, just me, I guess. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but that is just, how do you know what to question versus what you know is supposed to happen in a sense like you know like how do you like you can't really guess when you make a mistake like this like you know a week and a half later you, you figure out oh well i just bought this book for no reason i could rented it and you don't know that until you realize that oh crap this book only has you know you get the syllabus you're like oh crap this book only has one you know one chapter worth or whatever and i don't know yeah maybe i could i could have bought it after the first class i don't know but all these what ifs didn't happen so how do i make those what ifs happen in the in the present moment in the future when i'm in these situations so i don't buy a volume one of of two volumes for a class that i only need for one semester when i thought i need it for two like how do we realize these things are happening and why can't we make these things not happen more it just you know we try to control the environment we try to control everything and then we get worked in the face by a branch in the, you know, and it's like, okay, like, do you want me to just stop it, do you want me to just kind of sit down and just not move and just sit on this rock and not, not do anything at all in life, like, do you want me to just kind of, like, stay seated and, and just, you know, I don't know, like, it's like, it's just, it's, it's frustrating, you know, it's, it's really, um, annoying, I guess, it's funny too, but, like, looking back and, like, you know, I already have the book and I already bought it, so like I already, you know, whatever. But it, it, I just, it's, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the struggles of, um, of being an, an INFJ in particular. I mean, I feel like people don't talk about struggles in general because they see it as it's bad to talk about them. But I think that if we learn from these struggles and we find these lessons that we can move on from then maybe that's okay and maybe we, we can realize oh well you know, my, my, my dominant function is really strong you know my dominant function is really is so strong that I completely just jumped to conclusions that this one book would be used for two semesters just because it was a class that was similar to the one I had taken before and you know and maybe I you know, maybe I should be more cognizant of, my, of, of that function getting in the way sometimes and out of my judgment but then again I, I sit there and think about like how do I do that how do I let my dominant function not cloud my judgment because it's almost like it I can't see what's actually here sometimes because of that dominant function and you know like I could walk through my hallway completely zoned out and be fine but I could get whacked in the face by a cup, by a cupboard, the moment I, you know, or a cabinet door, the moment that I try to open anything, consciously. Like, I sliced my finger a, a couple weeks ago with a butter knife, while consciously trying to, to take it out of the, out of the um, drawer for the silverware, 
Like, how do these things happen when we're not even sure of how they happen, you know? And, and how we stop them from happening, because I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with inferior SE ruining my life and making my life a little bit chaotic when I'm trying to make it not chaotic. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys have any SE struggles, um, you know, whatever your type is, let me, you know, tell me down in the comments below. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one, and bye guys.